come back to the nest again. Last time out we saw us finish off this passenger side doorstep. That kind of brings us to a point where we, we're sort of half finished with the, the front end of the car. Ignoring this inner wing as it's been done later, the interior is now finished. So what we've done is we've uh, filled a few little holes along the inside of the bulkhead. We've had a good clean up across the top of the dash here. Uh, removed the daft wiring clips etc. And we've welded a small plate in the top here because we are having a top dash rail and we needed a little bit more strength where it bumps. So we managed to pick up a cheap second hand dash rail and that's what we're going to be doing today. So we best crack on. First thing we needed to do was get all these clips off from around the edges so we could carefully take this vinyl covering off. Before we started to modify the top dash rail, we made a wooden template of the dashboard so we had a reference point of what the curve was like before we began. cardboard template and stuck it to the wood and then smoothed along the top so we can get the curve of the dash now we'll just take this cardboard off and see how it fits Top dash rail, we're, um, we're fitting a two clock centre pot, um, so we've got a little bit of modifying to do. We're having to take the cut section out from the ashtray in the middle. So once we cut round it, suit stress just pulls it out. And there you go, that leaves us with another bloody big hole to try and fill. And this is the rough wooden template for our two pod, two clock pod, which is going to sit kind of like that. 
Now bearing in mind we've got the depth of the clocks to fit behind the back of this piece of wood, we are going to have to trim this mounting bracket ever so slightly. So we're going to, we're going to just saw it at an angle along this side just to take this main edge piece away here. Hello Lou, where's the Jew looks? Right, we've had enough for today, uh, but here's what we've done. We've cut out our templates, we've got our standard dash template here, and above that we've got a little template where we've cut the ashtray out for a two clock pod. Thank you Zink. So now it's time to break out the Oxford Maths set do a bit of trigonometry and we'll see you all in a little while. Use the door hinge jig to form a straight line which we've clamped into the vise just so we can clean up that edge to the straight line with a grinding disc and a flappy wheel. As you can see the two pieces are now flush we remove it from the vise. You can see our edges now oh, perfectly to the edge lines. Just a quick chamfer on the edge and it's done that side.
We've, uh, we've welded our template in and we've welded it flush with these sides. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut along these edges and then we're going to straighten that up so it's vertical and that will give us a nice smooth transition from one to the other and then once that's vertical we're going to weld it all up. So let's get on with that. in the least cut we need to bend that back to make it vertical this is going to want to shove this down so we're going to brace it just there just to take that flex out of it we don't need to weld it to the top piece we just need to weld it here at the bottom piece in our top dash rail, uh, we welded everything up, smoothed everything off, we put it back in the car and it had lifted an inch in the middle. 
but we're not happy with it at all. Um, so at that point, we went home, we were fed up. So I'm in this morning, I don't know where he is, but I've come in to sort it out. So we've cut everything apart, re-measured, re-shaped, and re-welded this in. Still a bit more to go, but this is now in the correct shape. Come here! Come here! Sorry, mate. Have to make a dash for it. And here it is. for our dash. A few bits and pieces of clocks in there and a couple of other things which you'll see when they finally get put in. Um, so that's a quick look at that, just give you something to think about. Meanwhile, we need to get on with it. The less said about yesterday's fiasco, the better.
lot of welding, grinding, some more welding and a bit more grinding. We finally finished the pod on the top dash rail. And here it is. And there you go, have a close look at that. Not looking too bad. A little bit rough around some of the edges. But you get the general idea. So what we're going to do, is we're going to cover this in our rust treatment. Um, leave it for a couple of days, clean it up, fill off the, uh, the rough edges, uh, give it a nice clean smooth finish and then it's off to the trimmers to be covered. We've got our first layer of filler on, it's only a bit of an old filler really, um, and so we're cutting out the holes for the gauges, um, already did one, then decided to turn the camera on, uh, so we're going to do the other one now. Our holes, two for the clocks, another little hole there. I'm going to leave you guessing what that one's for. Uh, so now we're just going to 
remove the yogis and then sand the whole lot down. As far as we can with this piece now, we've got the holes cut out ready for the clocks and they fit nice and snug. Everything's been sanded back after filling and a couple of coats of etch primer just to protect it. 
So now we'll wrap it in bubble wrap, stick it to one side until we've got the other pieces ready, and then we'll send everything to the trimmers in one go. So that's about it for this video. We'll see you next time.